Hey there guys, AWC Plays FIFA here to give you a quick recap of Manic Badger's last film career mode. First he was up against Blackburn, and after getting EA'd with a headed goal, his team decided to act like the local prison bitch, dropping the soap and shipping two more. This funk continued against Birmingham, as they couldn't find the net with a fucking map, and again considered a headed goal. Because the AI isn't able to actually play with the ball on the floor like normal fucking humans, they then proved me completely wrong by scoring an absolute peach to win 2-0. Fulham finally remembered not only how to kick the ball, but which fucking way, and they got a 1-0 win over Ipswich to get 3 points out of 9. If you enjoyed this, check out my 30 second career mode, but now it's over to Badger. What is going on guys, Manic Badger here, and yes, thanks to KB for that special intro. If you want to check out more of his stuff, like he said, that Wigan set 30 second career mode is brilliant. And I also want to say thanks to Flying Orangutan who did a shout out video last week. It's massively appreciated, a whole bunch of new subscribers to the channel. So welcome to you guys, and also hello to all the returning ones who wanted to find out how we get on. Now, the second thing that I wanted to say before we started is, unfortunately, my look has been a bit shit. We've just played a series of games and towards the end of said fixtures, my computer crashed. I lost the audio and I've lost the recording, but I'm still in, I've, I've literally just recorded that and I was gonna leave it at that. Um, but this is where we are, I was so annoyed. So the last game we played, the uh, last episode that you guys have watched, we won against Ipswich, obviously. Then we had a game against Charlton. Boringest first half I've ever had in my life. Nil-nil at half-time. Gave them a bit of a team talk, boot up the ass. They went back out and scored four goals. Brilliant performance. And then we had Bolton Wanderers away. Boring first half, same old, so same old. A story starts developing here. We see a pattern emerging. We play against Bolton, get two goals in the second half. We had a penalty that wasn't given in the first half for us, but sort of karma came round and we got one in the second half and Inaki Williams stepped up to slot it away. And then we had a game against Bristol City at home, our first game of the season, uh, of, of that episode for, um, first home game for Fulham in that episode. And we drew 1-1. And what pissed me off was we were in total control of the game we had two shouts of penalties and I even went on instant replay and we went through the things again to show you guys how messed up EA got our decisions and they ironically get a penalty in the last five minutes of the game and we commenced to onslaught, you know, carry on the onslaught of attack after attack and we ended up with just the one point. So this is the situ situation now. We are playing Reading next. And then we've got games against Brentford, Wolves, Leeds, and then Preston. And that's the end of the season. Or is it? Because here is what the table looks like. So Burnley are in top 77 points. Middlesbrough behind with 76. Derby 73. Cardiff and then us at 70. So a win could see us go third. If Middlesbrough lose the next couple of games and we, we win all of ours, then we could get into automatic qualification. That would mean that we wouldn't have to play in the playoffs and that would mean that we go through without well that would mean that would be the last episode in, for this season so we're gonna play these games i've just played I'm, I'm feeling okay if i was rage quitting and well not rage quitting but if i was raging in the last few episodes uh, in the games then i probably wouldn't have wanted to play right now but as i said we played pretty well against those teams in the uh, in the other fixtures so we're going to go ahead and try and beat Reading here and see if we can finish the season on a high. Come on, lads. Okay, so fingers and toes crossed that this recording actually works. <laughs> but we've got Reading in this game. <coughs> They're in ninth. Nine points behind us. But a win could see us go third if results go our way. Oh wow, Scotty Parker bombing forward. Rolling back the years, hurdling, taking them on into Christensen. Foul! Surely that must be a foul. He just bumped him into next week. Christensen, not fouled again. Oh, what a save by Lonigan! He has been fantastic for us. Oh, hit the crossbar, clear it. 
Oh! Too close for comfort. Can we get them on the counter attack? Guedes is trying. Ross McCormack returned ball, but look at that weight. But Guedes wins it here. How is that their free kick? Oh my days, what a load of BS. They must have had about three calls like that. Guedes won it fair and square. Oh, no, no, no. Woo! That was so close. Oh, come on, one of you. Oh, wonderful pass. Roulette style pass. Oh no, we've just given it to them. Come on, all out attack. Last attack. McCormack, make a bloody run. Oh, uh, and we've, we're held for the draw. That's disappointing. This is our team, Meekings comes into the defence for us and in midfield we're looking the same, Kakanaklic starting the first game in forever and we've also got Dembele playing striker, Naki Williams still on the right, Kakanaklic just goes round his defender but the defender just gets back into it so easily. Oh! Eat shit and die! What a tackle that was from Tim Ream. And he's just sent the boy into next week. Oh, what quick feet! And they've... so oh, wow! They've scored. This was such a good goal. The Ginger Ninja turns provider vibe with a quick little cutback. And he just tucks it around the keeper. And the little midget scores. Go on, Williams. Inaki Williams strikes it! Oh! He caught it well enough. Oh, go on. Go on. Go on. Go on, Dembele. Off to the races. Can he finish it? Musa Dembele. Rebound to Williams. Oh my god, how did the keeper save that? It was an open net. Williams just had to tap it away. And he gets a foot to it. Oh, piss off! How are you coming back for that? Shit, guys. It looks like we're going to lose this bastard now. Oh, my God. We're definitely losing it. Wow. Absolutely incredible. Williams is just taking the game into his own hands, trying to score a solo goal. It's just not working, not working for any of our players today. And it's a sad day because I don't know where that leaves us in the league. So a very unexpected loss there. Sees us still in sixth. Luckily, QPR are a couple of points behind, so... <coughs> So here's the deal guys, I'm going to sim this game against Wolves, <clears throat> hopefully, I think it's the penultimate game of the regular season, and uh, yeah, it looks like we're going to be in the playoffs, so yeah, it's just one of those things, Ebanks Landl scores for them, I wonder if that's sparring DK's Ebanks Landl, probably not, seeing as he looks like he's a centre back, Naki Williams scores, simming is legit. Williams' best time because he always scores. Benica Phobe scores again for them and it looks like we're going to lose. No, come on. Yeah, 90 minutes and we've lost again. So here's the situation, boys. We've got this last game of the season against Leeds. They're down in 15th. Nothing really is going to happen. We're safe in 6th. Even if we do win, um, Forrest uh, too many points ahead. So it is, looks like... It does look like we're going to the playoffs. So I'm just going to sim this game as well. And um, then see who we've got in the playoffs.
Ross McCormack springs up for a goal in the first half. Good to see him score. Dembele comes on for Anaki Williams. That's weird. Williams should have been playing well. And a red card and a consequent penalty. Deli Ali pops up with a winner in the last 10 minutes. So that's our final three points. So it looks like we've got one more game to sim. I didn't actually realise. I thought that was it and that was the playoffs. But this is still a game to play for us to win. And then we go into the playoffs. But it should be a pretty easy win. Preston already relegated. Chris Kirkland playing for them. Ross McCormack scores yet again. Guedes scores. Williams gets injured. That's hopefully not a serious one because we would need him in the playoffs. Reed scores, pulls one back. Redders gets a second. Red card for Johnson. Scotty Parker gets a goal as well. A lot happening in that 60 minute period. And that is the end of the game. 4 1, the final score. And there we go. That's a bit better. Promotion, playoff, semi final. We're playing against Nottingham Forest. So a huge game that we have against them. Oh no, Naki Williams is out for five weeks. So that means he misses the playoffs. But what we do have, though, is we've got some players returning back from loan. To Kellenberg, for example. Okay, so I just wanted to have a run through of what players we have and uh, how it shapes up for next season. We've got the playoff uh, games in the next couple of well, in the next episode, we will have the the season finale, uh, the playoffs to see if we get through and get promoted. But we've got such a big squad still. So let's go through. We've got Joranen whose contract is running out in a month. So we're going to lose him. That doesn't matter. We're going to keep Lonergan. Mr. Kellenberg has just returned. So hopefully we can hold on to him. He looks really good. 77 overall. Amaribiata. We're going to add him to the transfer list. I don't see him playing. Arthur Worry has just returned. And um, six foot. All right, let's offer him a new contract. I haven't got any budget. Oh, shit. Might just have to offer him a contract after the season finishes. Uh, Burgess is out for loan. But I don't I don't see us using him. So I'm going to add him to the transfer list. As well as Dan Byrne. He can go. Hutchinson's contract is running out. But we can add him to the transfer list. Meekings is staying on Ganey. Might go out for a loan. I think that will be good. Palmer Brown is there, Reem is there, Steeman's there, and then we've got our youth players, Amin Delgado, um, in the left back position. We might sell Amin so he gets that May boost. Oh well, we can't. Um, so Kavanagh is there as well. He's out on loan still. Donnelly's transfer listed. Fredericks is loaned out. Uh, Grimm is loaned out. Paslax Loney. Richards wants more money. Voss is transfer listed. Parker's there. Contract running out. We need to sort out a contract for Scotty Parker. Schroeder needs to go on loan. Ali is doing brilliantly. Christensen's doing brilliantly. Chumichero, we're going to add to the transfer list. Uh, Heinemann is for loan. Matilla, add him to the transfer list. Jamie O'Hara to the transfer list. Tony Cliffs to the transfer list. Vasquez has just come in. Vadeo has just come in. Guedes is there. Now here's one I actually need to talk to you guys about. I am thinking about selling Guedes. Should I give him one more season or should I get rid of that 7.5 mil? We got him for 4 mil so we've already got an up. A little bit of a prop fit. But he's just... I don't enjoy using him in game. Kakanaklic transfer listed. Pringle out on loan. Williams, no wait, is that? No, oh, thank God, it's not Inaki Williams. Who's transfer listed? Lionel Cole, gonna add him to the transfer list. Roberts is a loanee. Plimain is loaned out. Inaki Williams, what a player. He's staying put. We've got Bennett Dembele. Dembele's contract's running out. We need to get some money in. And then Mitroglu is there. Moses Simon back and fit, so hopefully he's gonna play a good part. Target is out, and Woodrow's still out. So, a lot of players that we've got out and a lot of action happening 
in this episode to wrap it all up. So stay tuned to find out what happens. The end of the season wasn't really what we planned, but we did get into the playoff positions, which means there is still a chance of promotion. Are we going to be able to get that in the next episode? Tune in next time to find out. And until then, peace.